So tonight we have uh, we have Robin Haney from Nashville, Tennessee, an esthetician, and she's going to share some wonderful insights into what uh, she's noticed in in uh, her practice as it relates to this technology and the business. Well, guys, I'm so excited to introduce Robin Haney. Robin, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So, Robin, I understand you're you're at work right now, and yeah. And you're a master esthetician. <laughs> yes. tell, tell, tell us what that means. <laughs> well, there's different definitions of it, but basically I've been doing aesthetics for 26 plus years. I've had Apropos in my business for that long and I've been an esthetician longer. Uh, so you, you achieve different levels of um, ability and, and just like any other field, you know, you work your way into more advanced techniques. So. Uh, so I also have a Sodesco diploma, which is uh, the international diploma. So if I want to like hijack to Italy one of these days, I can work there. So um, so Sodesco is is something that you do as an additional training later on. Excellent. So you're evaluating your client's uh, skin condition and, and their appearance. And, yes. and by the way, you look amazing. Your skin looks oh. amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I always say I have to practice what I preach, right? That's right. And Robin, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, in terms of the, the business? No, just in terms of you. Oh, well, um, I actually grew up in Washington State on a dairy farm. And uh, so learned hard work early on and moved to Southern California to go to college, got a degree in marketing. Uh, then went back to school after a year of commuting to and from in L.A. an hour and a half each way and uh, decided that was just not the life I was really looking forward to. So I went back to school and got my license to do aesthetics. I'd always been interested in skincare and makeup. And a friend of mine who was a hairstylist said, you know, there is a license you can get to do that. So, uh, so I went back to school. I did an apprenticeship with um, a man for about a year afterwards. He'd been in the business about as long as I have been in it now. And, um, and then I had friends who moved to Nashville for the music business and talked me into moving out here. And 20 some years ago, Nashville was not the it city, let's just say. <laughs> so I kind of felt like I'd landed on a different planet. I didn't, I didn't understand what people were saying to me. I didn't understand the food, especially coming from Southern California. So it was a big adjustment, but I landed in a really great uh, salon that was just starting their skincare department. And all the equipment and the products that they put in were things I had been trained on in California. So I started their skincare department, eventually became their spa director. And then about five years into that, left my, my salon, my spa, and um, have grown it to, at one point, I had about 15 employees and uh, four or five independent contractors, and and I still do aesthetics and still take clients. So after 10 years of that, I kind of downsized back again to something a little more reasonable. And um, so I'm now in a, my third location. We've been here eight and a half years. So, so I still do aesthetics four days a week. Well, fantastic. You know, I can tell you don't have that typical Tennessee accent. <laughs> oh, can you? Okay. When I go home to Washington, they think I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's that funny? funny. You know, and so I would imagine that you're always interested in finding the latest, greatest. There's a there's a lot of different products that that you've used with your clients over the years, and 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 we're all going to be interested in in learning. How did you discover uh, this technology, the redox signaling technology? Well, I'd never heard of it, and um, and actually, um, I have had a client who was coming in to get massage named Jamie, who was seeing my massage therapist who's been with me about four years at that point, who's awesome and really into health and wellness and nutrition and all of that. And unbeknownst to me, he was talking to her about ASEA. And she was kind of going about it, doing, you know, doing her own research. And then uh, decided to sign up and start taking it. And, and I didn't know any of that was going on. And so then one day Pepper Black comes in to get a massage. And at the time, it turns out Jamie was who she was married to. 
and they had just gotten married. And so she came in for a massage. We happened to intersect in the lobby and she wrote out a little diagram about what redox is and gave me a tube. And I thought, eh, whatever, I've never heard of redox. And I have my own skincare about 15 years ago. So I'm not a chemist, but I know enough about formulas and delivery systems and ingredients and so forth. And I thought, you know, if this were such a big hot thing, I would know about this. So I kind of blew it off. And I said something to Stephanie and she said, well, actually I'm taking it. And I did all this research and I went, really? Okay. And honestly, if she had not done that research and, and I had, um, talked to her that I probably would not have given it a second thought because in this industry we get uh, approached all the time for different products and and yes I do always want to know what the latest greatest is but one of the things my clients know and appreciate I think about how I run my practice is um, I typically let whatever's the newest latest greatest let everybody else kind of figure it out and see if it's going to fizzle out and if it's still around in another year or two, then I take a look at it and go, okay, maybe this is viable for my clients, but I let everybody else, let their clients be the guinea pigs. So I started doing some research and uh, was actually in the process of doing a, making a um, anti-aging serum for my line to, and have a couple labs I work with. And once I started doing some research on Redox, I realized that this company, ASEA has all of the patents in the world literally on it and I thought and once I understood what it was really doing to the mitochondria and how it was affecting you know cellular function I thought well I can't recreate this so I'll just instead of making my serum I'll just incorporate these products into what I'm doing so um, so they fit seamlessly into any skincare line that you're working with um, so I use it in my treatment room and I use it, I'd say 95% of our clients uh, use Renew. And now a lot of them have used Renew long enough that they are now ready to jump into the serum. So we sell a lot of both of those products. So um, like if we're not ordering it every week, we're ordering it every other week. So, so we use a lot of it. So would you say it's safe to say if 95% of your patients are using it, 95% are seeing results? Right. And they come back. And the funny thing is, uh, a lot of them don't want to be on auto ship. They would rather come and buy it from me and pay more. And we tell them, you know, if, if we sign you up on auto ship, you will get it a little cheaper. No, nah, I'd rather just come see you. That's fine. It's like, okay. Yeah. So that's what we do. I mean, we do have some people that, that uh, are on auto ship and, uh, we call it our gateway drug, so it's a way for us to then open up that conversation about how a see it works and remind them that what they're seeing on the outside with the Renew and the serum is what a see is doing on the inside. Um, some of our clients just don't really want to take something oral. Some of them comment about the cost. Um, I remind them that it's five dollars a day and they're wasting more than that going to get coffee across the street, but you know, We've all said those things and it's, it's just a matter of priority. So we do have clients that are on auto ship with the SIA and some of them also do the, uh, the five piece skincare kit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I don't carry the other, the moisturizer and the cleanser because I've got my own and price point wise, it doesn't really work out for me to do those retails. So I have a few that, that get them on auto ship or they'll just shop on my website for those. Sure, sure. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah, I know that C was pretty excited when they came out with the uh, moisturizer and the cleanser mm -hmm. because of its uh, the synchronicity uh, mm -hmm. and how it works with the Redox. But uh, this is very exciting that you're uh, having such amazing results with your clients. Now, tell me about, you said you started using the product. What, what did you notice for yourself? Well, you know, thankfully, I didn't have any major health issues. So, uh, but the one thing I did notice, I was having some, I think some thyroid issues because I would about three o'clock in the afternoon, I would be so tired. I would want to like literally push my client off the table and lie down and take a nap. And I would push through till the end of the day and I would go home and I'd have to lie down for about 30 minutes before I could even get up and do the rest of my evening. And so after about a month that went away and I've been on it almost four years now and I've not had that since. So um, that was a big one. Then there were like little things that um, just in talking to other people, 
uh, they would comment like, I don't know if you know what a ganglion cyst is, but it typically yeah. occurs, you know, in joints. And I had one on my right wrist and somebody said, oh, this ganglion cyst of mine is gone. I said, oh, I have one too. And I went, oh, well, I used to have one. And so it, about three months into it, that cyst was gone. And um, so lots of little little things like that for me, but. Um, I love it. And, you know, I want to remind everybody, see, it does not make any medical claims to cure or treat any medical condition, even though you heard one. Uh, right. <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> it actually doesn't have to. ASEA simply empowers the body to heal itself. Well, that's pretty exciting. That's enough to get uh, get your attention, wasn't it? That, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, if ninety five percent of your patients are aware of this and using it, then that means you have complete confidence in what this is doing. And and so, how do you relate this tool to some of the other tools that you use in your in your business? Um, would you say it's one of the one of the top tools? What I tell other estheticians um, when they're looking at carrying this product is that uh, there isn't any other one product that we carry that ninety five percent of our clients use. You know, Robin, this has been so fun to learn about how you use uh, Redox technology in your practice. And uh, congratulations! You know, you're you're spreading the good word. Uh, the fact that you have 95% of your people using yeah. this is a is a, a testimony in itself to uh, your belief in this, in the science and the company, and so thank you for that. Mm -hmm.